The word parts is used in so many ways. Lots of people are from parts. You'll hear the question, you from these parts? Or what brings you to these parts? If you don't fully want to commit to someone, you can give them just a part of your heart. There's also food that's made from parts. I'm talking to you, hot dogs. And as time passes, some historic parts have literally become irreplaceable parts. But 3D printing has now added to the art of creating classic car parts. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Seeing a vintage car on the road is really cool, but have you ever wondered what it takes to actually keep it running? As time marches on, finding parts to replace worn out or broken ones becomes harder and harder for cars older than your grandparents. Thankfully, mechanical engineers like Dave and Reckow, a part supply specialist for our sponsor, Haggerty, have embraced 3D printing technology to generate new parts for hundreds of older cars in order to keep them on the road. I met up with Davin at Haggerty's Garage in Traverse City, Michigan. Albert, here is the, the star of the show. This is our 3D printer. When you have a classic car and a part goes awry, you need to find a part for a classic car. How difficult is it to find a piece? Depending on the piece, it can be extremely difficult, especially you're in a rare car or a really intricate piece that is not typically broken or lost. If it's a more complicated piece, then you might need to step back and flat out design it from scratch. Okay. And that's really where we come in with what we do is we use the intermediate piece or the test piece, if you will, or engineering proof to mock up an engine assembly and then say, yes, these clearances and this will work and that'll work. So you're saying that there are times where maybe before you had 3D printing, you just had to kind of take a wild guess and uh, make a whole yeah. part? That's a good way to put it. For our demonstration, David 3D printed a piston, which took 34 hours to complete. So here's the piston as it is printed. So I don't know if you want. I'd, I'd love to. This is, this is what 34 hours feels like. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> wow. As a comparison, you can see a lot of the Look changes from a design standpoint. This is pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. So we can go put this in a real engine and see if it works? Sure can. Oh, let's do it. Got it right here. David went to work prepping the plastic piston head to insert into a 1968 440 Chrysler engine. Here's our assembly. The moment of truth. <laughs> it's so snugly. <laughs> it just sort of went down there. It didn't fight with the sides. You didn't yep. have to. Let me give it a shot, just like simulating. Right. Now, is this what it would do yeah. when it's actually functioning? Correct. Oh, wow. So you are simulating the combustion process of an internal combustion engine right there. Wow, look at me combusting. <laughs> here. From here, the specs from the 3D printed part are sent to a manufacturer to make a full set of metal pistons that will work perfectly in this engine. And the best part? It helps keep classic cars like this running forever. 